On the topic of gluten sensitivity, one of the should ask questions that isn't asked often enough or frequently asked is uh, what about oats and corn? I'm going to jump to the conclusion and then I'll explain the, the reason for the conclusion as we go. But there's no such thing as a gluten-free oat or a gluten-free corn. It does not exist. Um, and there's some reasons for that and the same is true of teff and millet and these are all very similar grains. Now if you go to ovitaminpro.com and look for gluten resources, that's ovitaminpro.com, you'll see um, a reference to oats and corn and I have a PDF that you can, uh, you can download and look at. But I've got a chart in there that shows the, the gluten content of each of these grains that I'm talking about. And it also shows the family uh, genetics, you know, the, the, the lineage. So uh, oats and corn, uh, rice, our sorghum are all in the same subfamily. Now, some people even react to sorghum, but not as many. So, the reason I say that there's no such, no such thing as a gluten-free oat is because when you look at that table, you see that, that oats uh, does have a high uh, gluten content, and so does corn. Now, these are in a different subfamily than oats, uh, than wheat, rye, and barley. So, you know, these are two different groups, but they're very closely related. So, oat, um, oat gluten or corn gluten does not bother everybody who's gluten sensitive. But I would say it's a fairly high percentage. I used to say about 50%, but, I've, but as time goes on, I'm revising that, that upward. So I think a large majority of people react to oats and corn as well. Now that molecule is a little bit different, but it can still cause its own reaction in some people, but it can also activate the same pathways or the same receptors that, that wheat, rye, and barley are activating as well. So if someone tells you that this is a gluten-free oat, that's, that, that's um, biologically impossible right now. There is no such thing as a gluten-free oat. It's just a different form of gluten you may or may not react. Now keep in mind that when you have a reaction to these things, it usually isn't right away. That would be an allergic response. The autoimmune response usually takes 15-18 hours to get going, and then it takes about six months to unwind that. So if you eat oats, you know, maybe you go for 12 hours and feel, I feel fine, but then six hours later you're not doing so well and you, and you don't correlate to two. And so that's why this is so deceptive. Um, of course, then we have the GMO problem, which I won't get into in this video, but that could be a factor as well. So the bottom line here is that if you're trying to get healthy, you know, you're suffering from rheumatoid arthritis or osteoporosis or lupus or brain fog or, or something else, and you know you read that oats and corn are fine and so you go ahead and have your corn chips and your oatmeal you might be kidding yourself because that's good that could certainly delay your healing so i wish i had better news for you at this point but the truth is you know you want tools that will help you be that will help you get to a healthier place and you need to know that that uh, oats and corn are gluten containing grains as well now sorghum is too and i mentioned that uh, and I talk, I'll talk about rice here in just a little bit. But most people don't react to sorghum. It's uh, very close related to corn, but it's not, again, it's not the same protein ident um, identically to corn. So you may, uh, may be okay with sorghum. Um, the other thing is rice. Rice is a very low uh, gluten containing grain. Very, it's a tiny percent. And that brown rice seems to be well tolerated by everybody that I've talked to. So. And, you know, for me, you know, I react very strongly to oats and corn, but brown rice seems to be, uh, be okay for me at this point. Um, now, if you really want to know about these things as well, you can do uh, Array 4 from Cyrex Labs at C-Y-R-E-X. And you can contact our office to get the kit to do, that, to do that test. But that will also give you some idea of antibodies that you might be creating toward other related foods. So anyway, that's the story on uh, oats and corn. Hope that was helpful.